a family. <laughs> um, check this out, yo. Look who I found just now. He came here. He came here to die. Last year, they all came over here and died right in front of me. They were, um, squirming on the ground and they were telling me that it felt like fire. They were covered in fire. Their skin was really on fire, they said. And um, they were trying to uh, put themselves out of their own misery. Did you guys know that the um, scorpion... Let me see if I can get down here. <laughs> Get a closer shot. The scorpion is, uh, well, he's a lot of things, but he is, uh, one of the only creatures, if not the only creature I'm aware of, who will when he's surrounded by, let's say, a fire and there's no escape. And he will sting himself to death. Because, um, he doesn't like to be burned alive. <laughs> well, so that's what the chemicals do. And, um, this is what it's okay. <laughs> Let me see if I can uh, put this into layman's terms and not sound too autistic. <laughs> um, that um, they were coming last year and dying right in front of me. And it's because the neighbors who build their homes with... Uh, an extremely toxic, very dirty energy called cement. Um, and then they build square boxes made of, of cement. And, and then they bring in things like uh, these, these, these wires here are super, super, super toxic. And you want to talk about a pandemic? Uh, you should look into the history of of the uh, origination of these um, caveman um, energy delivery systems here that in Mexico we call them CFE. So there's that toxicity, there's the toxicity of the cement, and then let's not forget shit like this. And I'm not kidding you. All the other traffic, but here's a good example, one going by, it's just a non-stop entr entry of um, toxicity everywhere into the forest. And so what does the forest do? Well, like any other organism, just like, you know, inside your body, as above, so below. Inside your body, if you pollute it, then you've got things to help remove the toxins. And um, the sacred forest has sacred spirits manifested in various, all different forms, right? All the, everything is spirit first and foremost. And, um, so he comes to clean that which is dirty and do so in such a way as to crawl into your bed or crawl into your slippers or fall from the ceiling or just, oh, you know, it was just an accident that I got bit by the scorpion. Okay, if you think so. But it's really, if you want to look at it more like, with more holistic intelligence, 
Uh, you could uh, say, hey, here, here came a, a very strong messenger to tell me uh, that, that, that there's toxicity. What can I do to reduce the level of toxicity? I don't know. Maybe, um, you know, well, obviously free energy devices, right? So I'm waiting for those, right? Just, they're coming. I'm not waiting. They're already here. It's just, yeah. Anyway, um, there's this. We have one of these. And all the, think about the, the, all the programs that come through this Skynet or whatever, Big Brother, whatever the hell you want to call it, that get programmed into the children and the people who live in these homes who then become more toxic and then they pour more cement and then come more people like this, or more spirits like this arrive and then what do they do? Spray chemicals? You see family the cycle of life the circle of life and how it doesn't it does not it it is the cycle the circle of life and caesar's calendar of fake linear time does not transpose upon this you know it doesn't take precedence it's like a concept over a fact it you know, you're trying to place the heart, the cart before the horse. It doesn't work. <laughs> so anyway, back to my friend here. I just, you know, now I just saw that he, um, this one, because last year they saw that I got the message. Yeah. But I can't say anything. Yo, I'm a gringo. I don't know nothing. Don't pay attention to the crazy gringo. She's an enemy by default because her ancestors were the conquistadors. Or whatever the fuck is going on. I, I get it everywhere I go, and it's cool. I understand. I hope everybody can resolve and amend and, and, and fix this energy to put it back in, in space to stop um, judging books by their covers and just assuming that because someone is a yank or a gringo or somebody from the states who whatever you know whatever i don't care <laughs> put me in a box put me in the box and let me know how that works out for you so here he crawled into my i have this well it's i don't really know who this is but he's like a jungle rose and look Look at these beautiful flowers, yo. I don't, my plants are very well looked after. They're pruned. You know, I, I check this one like every day or every other day. So. Look at this. Do you see the, do you see, do you see how all these other leaves around here are bright and soft and lush and beautiful? And this one here, and he's not even in the direct sun, this one, but he's burned because that's where he went to die because his skin was so on fire that he came to this soft, the softest thing he could find, right, you know? Um, there's no water, eh, because we live in a dry forest, and it's always important to have satellite TV before you have water um, so that we can increase the toxicity. And then this guy doesn't have anywhere to, like, wash these chemicals off of him, so he makes his way over to my house, it being literally felt like he's being burned alive the whole time. And all he came to do was deliver a message If anybody out there ever read that book called the Bible and how the Christos is always persecuted and oh, what's that word sacrificed 
yo family that time's over that time of the conquistador son is finished it's 500 years it's our time now it's our it's our turn in the cycle in the circle so i just i don't know i felt compelled to share that for everything is in divine order and if this resonates with you um I'm, I share this message without um, polarity, without, um, oh, how do you say, ulterior motives, hidden agendas, uh, heart on my sleeve. What you see is what you get. I'm not a fake ass, crowd following, ego idling. Uh, guru, worshipping, teacher, student, master, slave, idiot of the crowd. I think differently. I feel differently. And if everyone took the time to appreciate each and every spirit, right? Especially when we come to the forest because we want to get away from the dirty city and we don't like all that dirty, oh, it's just so dirty. that It feels so nice out here in nature. And then when we get to the nature, we pour cement, build more cement boxes, install more dirty electricity lines, uh, bring in more um, weaponized frequencies um, and extremely um, dangerous programs in by the satellite TV and oh yeah satellite radio don't forget that because we had to stay up all night last night listening to um, well I don't even know what it was it was just noise pollution and um it was super loud it was in violation of the spirits of this forest you know the birds they we that we adore so much the butterflies and everybody else that we adore so much in the daytime yo those folks are sleeping at night and guess what yeah something else <laughs> in case you forgot it's their forest you and i are pasajeros we pass through this space. What what is it like after we touch it? Because I know this this individual and all the other individuals that, that are from this forest that are endemic to this forest work together in harmony and peace and love and cooperation with unconditional love and holistic intelligence and self-mastery. Hmm. <sighs> And they don't need to go to university like Aunt T did. <laughs> Ted, eh? Spent 24 years in university, but I seek the truth. And, you know, I, I, I had to give them 24 years and three master's degrees. But ultimately, everything I need to know, I knew before I was, well, before I was even born. Let's be honest about that. But then... Like the final stand, um, it was around the age of two. And after that, I just shut my mouth and realized I'm stuck in a dysfunctional world. And everyone around me is autistic in that sense. And I'm the only sane one. <laughs> but it's all good. <laughs> the maestros have arrived. And I'm here to teach. Not teach. Let me, let me, I don't believe in the teacher student relationship it's just a soft version of the master slave relationship um i'm just here to kind of you know be one of those old people <laughs> and um one of those who have sought and are is seeking and will always continue to seek and, and always um, in humility. But my skin is on fire, yo. <laughs> I, I'm thankful this, um, this 
scorpion. I'm going to leave him here, make an altar. Um, and I'm just grateful, right? Grateful for the messengers, but um, <laughs> a lot shifted while I was away. I was gone for six weeks um, to some conferences. And wow, um, it's it. It really took a turn for the worse <laughs> whilst I was away. So I'm going to stay here for a while and see if we can try to restore some peace and harmony. But um, there must be first um, the willingness to listen to the, to the messages of our heart and to remember that uh, everybody has a message no matter how scary or whatever you've been told to, to believe about the scorpion, for instance. It's not how I see him. And touch wood without, you know, I, I'm just saying, I've been living and I, these guys, I see them everywhere. And nobody ever stings me. Nobody climbs into my slippers. Nobody gets into my bed. Nobody hides in the pillowcase. Because I'm not offensive to them, so they don't need to, to give me the message. Um, um, yeah, it's time, folks. Ah, Bioconstruction, hempcrete, and the, just the whole, you know, concept of hemp just replacing all the petrochemical industry and yeah and then when we stop living in these cement boxes and maybe we'll 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 kind of remember that how toxic are these uh things here <laughs> super super toxic and look yo check it my house is right under one of those yeah yuck super dirty um yeah and so you know it just it just flows from there but anyway uh if this has been a blessing to you then it's been my honor to share it i love you family ciao for now